Hello, greetings from the Mosul, everybody. Thank you for watching today. Today we are talking about high density planting or planting density in general. Here in the Mosul, we have steep vineyard sites, steep slopes, and uh, we oftentimes have no possibility to work with a tractor or a caterpillar because it is either way too steep or we have too many walls and cliffs and rocks in our steep slopes, so everything has to be done by hand. As a result, uh, we use a, a planting or trellising system, which is called the single post system. So you have one post per vine, and uh, on this post you tie the shoots of the vine up. That allows you to walk around the vine, and it also allows you to create a fairly high density of plants per, per surface. If you take one hectare, you could go very high uh, and plant 10,000 plants per hectare, which means one vine per square meter. But you can also go and reduce your planting, um, for example, um, in parcels where you can run a tractor through or uh, a chain uh, driven uh, vehicle. And in order to, to get through the rows, you would have to uh, reduce the density of planting and plant in wider spaces, wider rows. And uh, in this case, it's not possible to realize a really high density planting. Why is density, high density planting so good? Well, if you uh, grow uh, um, a lot of plants on a certain surface, the plants uh, start to compete with each other. Plants tend to grow roots right where they find soil, so usually they would spread their roots in uh, the upper uh, levels of the soil, uh, the upper layers uh, close to the surface. But when they grow next to each other, very dense, uh, very narrow spacing, the roots have to find land further below and uh, soil further below. So in order to get minerals and in order to get nutrition and to get water, they start rooting deep. They grow deeper and deeper and deeper, um, which has the positive effect that in extremely dry summers, they still reach water in water veins that are in the subsoil, but also um, they create a much larger, you could call it root tree, a larger complex uh, root system which allows the vine to take much more minerals, much more nutrition, much more content of the soil and to supply the leaves and also the grapes with these elements, with these soil components. That's the great advantage of single post trellising and high density planting that we make more use of the soil. Also in the Mosul, one hectare is more than one hectare. Why is that? Well, one hectare is usually measured by looking straight on the surface from, be from below. Uh, we call it the projection way to measure. And if you have a steep hill, your surface within an hectare is larger because if you fold up your surface, to a steep hill. Within one hectare, you can put much more surface in than it is on the flat. That's why um, yields in the Mosul are hard to measure in yields per hectare, because you have more surface than in hectare, and that means you have more yield per hectare than in the flatland. You have a higher yield per hectare in a steep hill than in a flatland, because of the larger surface. And uh, that's why it's important to talk about yield per vine rather than yield per hectare. If you plant a lot of plants, like 10,000 vines per hectare, you end up having lower yields per vine, but a fairly high yield per hectare. And even though single vineyard, a single post trellising system in a vineyard uh, is much more labor intense to cultivate, to work it, and even though it's much more expensive to work in the steep slopes without any machine, any, without any tractor, without any caterpillar, whatever, you still can balance out these extra costs by the higher yield without 
overcropping without getting thin wines or wines that are not dense and strong enough because the yield per vine is still lower even though the yield per hectare is high. So high density planting means make good use of the land. It also means your vines root deep, you get more from the soil. For terroir driven wines, our Mosul system, single post trellising, high density planting is actually the best way to do it. I hope I could explain this well to you and uh, you uh, are interested in this and maybe you can look it up uh, in, uh, in books or in the internet and find out more about uh, planting density and uh, I look forward to uh, our next session, our next podcast. Please come and join us again and I say greetings from the Mosul. Music